Today on Blog Success Journal, must have WordPress plugins to get more search engine traffic. And this is step five of our How to Start a Blog series. Now, these things, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this before we start going to the plugins. Some of these are gonna sound kind of techy. One of our big objectives with this show with Blog Success Journal is to demystify all this stuff. And you shouldn't have to worry about all this techy stuff, okay? So we're just gonna run through it pretty quickly and just don't let these freak you out. They sound a little, they sound a little techy, but you're gonna install them and most of these you install them once and they're good to go going forward. It's kind of point and click install, so and it's not Exactly, too, super it's really techy. simple to install. And the reason I'm explaining that ahead of time is because the first one, Google XML sitemaps. If you don't have a, to know XML. <laughs> you don't have to know nothing about XML. You don't even have to know what a sitemap is, although we're gonna tell you. The whole point of Google XML sitemaps this is one of the most important plugins. Google needs to know how your site is laid out if you want to get ranked in Google. Same with the other search engines. A sitemap is basically an easy to read for Google layout of your site in XML format. You install this plugin once and from then on, Google can read your site much more easily. That's very important. That's all you need to know about it. The next one is all-in-one SEO. Think of this as a very simple SEO optimization tool for your site. You install it, you fill in a couple of fields like title, description, tags, and you can tweak a few other things. But it's kind of the most simple basic thing that you can do to optimize your site so that the search engine will crawl it more easily and send you more traffic. Yeah. Again, you don't have to understand all the SEO stuff. You just got to install that thing and let it run and it makes your site more friendly to the search engines. You want to have it in easy to read Google format, right? Simple. Next one, privacy policy generators. And you're thinking, gee, next year I may have one guy that actually reads my privacy policy. You know what, you still gotta have it. Because you know what, it's, it helps read, set users' expectations for your site. Yeah, that's all nice and good. Realistically, the FCC now requires even bloggers to have disclaimers on their site for whatever. So this way, you install it, it's set, you're there, you're covered. Covered. Check your box, you're CYA. Done. Okay, the next one are social media widgets. Now there's a ton of them out there. You know, all kinds of fancy pop-up buttons, hover-ins, giant buttons, all kinds of stuff like that. Very pretty. Our personal experience, those are just distracting. Okay, there's two that we use. We use the Facebook widget and the Twitter widget because you know at this point in time, that's where all the traffic's coming from. And those are the two sites that you've gotta be on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, the next one, it's called Viper Video Quick Tags. And as, as intimidating as that sounds. Say that three times real fast. Yeah, no kidding. All it does, it adds, it adds a pretty little button at the top of your WordPress text editor that allows you to, to embed videos from YouTube and other video sites. Real easy. You push that button, you put the URL of your video, and there, boom. The it's URL, included. not any complicated embed code or anything. You just grab the URL and put it in there. Video makes your blog more interesting. That's a very good thing. But like Jennifer was saying, you don't want to grab the full YouTube embed code and put it in there because you know what? YouTube is going to change that format in six months. You may change. change in six months and decide you want the video small or bigger. And guess what? You're going to have to go edit the embed code on tens, hundreds of posts. Bad. With something like this, you just put the video URL and you can set the width, the size, whatever in one place. Mm -hmm. Smart way to do it. Okay, the next thing you absolutely have to have on your blog is a contact form. You want advertisers and publicity folks to be able to contact you. Okay. Easily. So there's two options that we like. C forms, which is free. Okay. Again, it's just a simple, easy, quick contact form. Now, if you want something that's a little more fancy, we highly recommend Gravity Forms from Rocket Genius. Okay. They put out some really good stuff. That's a really cool form. Go ahead and check it out. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Or Gravity Forms. Now, pretty links. And I know we've talked about pretty links before. Uh, if you haven't watched a full video on that, it's, a, it's the video where we talked about managing all your affiliate links. But basically, th this gives you one place in, in your, a dashboard for managing all your affiliate links and changing those ugly, long uh, format links into little bitty, short, much more click-friendly links. And I think the, the big thing you want to keep in mind here, when you have when you when you have all these different campaigns and ads and whatever that you're tracking, you want to have them. Um, uh, managed in one place that you can change the target URL very easily in just one place. You don't want to be embedding all those affiliate links that may expire, may change, and all your articles direct. Yeah, so, go watch that whole video for all the details on yeah, I'm that. I'm trying to summarize it all. The short version, install pretty links, put your affiliate links in there, okay? It's much better. <laughs> and the next one, okay, we're talking about keeping people on your site once you get them there. Okay, related posts. You always want to show, if somebody's reading an article on a topic, you want to show them five or ten more on that same topic because nine times out of ten, they search for something very specific and that's what they're interested in. And the one that we like is Yarp. It's yet another related post plugin, okay? <laughs> There's tons of them out there. That just happens to be our personal favorite and what it does, it analyzes that post and and displays similar ones. Now, none of these are perfect, okay, including YARP, but in our opinion, that's the best one. More perfect than others. More perfect than others. <laughs> and that's why we use it, because it works. Now, look, in conclusion, with all these oh, things. Oh, hold on, I have a bonus. I almost ah. forgot. Ah. The most important plugin, and we almost forgot it, we added it right at the end, 
you need a spell checker plugin. Okay? <laughs> the one we like is After the Deadline. So, yeah, it's spell free checker. One. Yeah, it's another free one. It's called After the Deadline because you don't want typos on your blog. Just adds a simple spell check button at the top of your WordPress uh, editor. Very simple, but very important. Sorry, almost forgot. No, that's good. That's good. That's right. We had it at the end yesterday. <laughs> All right. In conclusion, look, these plugins make your life easier, make you look more professional, and check, check your eyes and cross your dots, right? Uh, cross your T's. Um, it's just a good thing to install these and have them running. That way you're, you're just going to get more traffic. Your visitors will be happier. That's very important. Now, I got to give a disclaimer here. These are our favorite plugins, those we recommend today, as of the date of this recording. You know what? New plugins come out. Some plugins change. They're not so good anymore. So, you know, they may change over time. But this is a good, uh, a good list today. And on that topic, do you have a favorite free plugin or even a paid plugin that you didn't hear on the show today? If you do, leave a comment. Tell us about it and tell us why you like it.